and I think we are live. Let's see if there are any people joining us. Okay, just waiting for more people to arrive to this meeting. Maybe something is wrong. Let me just check. I think something is wrong with the stream. I'm not sure if I'm live or not, guys. If you can, if you can hear me, can you send a, a message in the chat? Can you send uh, here we go. Here we go. I think. Uh, I think it is working. It just uh, my screen is not updated in real time for some reason. But guys, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, let me just uh, quickly fix uh, fix that. Oops, and I can hear myself. I think it is working. It just uh, my screen is not updated. All right. Guys, welcome, welcome to our live uh, chat. Today we're going to be talking about how we can leverage uh, powerful AI technology designed specifically for mortgage brokers. Now, for those uh, of you who are not familiar with uh, Maestro or for or you don't know who uh, who am I, um, I'm a founder and CEO of uh, Maestro. Maestro helps brokers like yourself. Uh, generate more business, collect more client information on autopilot. And it works like magic. You send a link to your client, they click on the link and they go through the entire process. So we've helped over 2,000 brokers um, to streamline their business, to automate their processes and to onboard more clients. But uh, this live stream is not about what Maestro does. We're going to be focusing on AI technology and how AI can help you um, uh, you know, onboard more clients and provide better customer experience. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick demo, and then we're going to show you how you can configure AI and how you can start using these systems right now um, for your business. Now, why is it important? Uh, you probably heard uh, right and left uh, everyone saying, "Hey, AI is coming." What is AI? How you can embed AI into your workflow? What you can do with AI and so forth? A lot of people saying, hey, you know, AI might replace all of us. And some people say, no, AI is not going to replace all of, all of us, but it's going to complement complement us. I think there is a bit of truth in both. Uh, obviously, AI does a lot of tasks that we usually do. Uh, during the day, such as, uh, you know, managing, such as writing emails for us or, you know, helping us to, um, you know, create LinkedIn posts and uh, stuff like that. But uh, it goes even deeper because AI, uh, the primary focus of AI is not just to write emails or create LinkedIn posts. The primary focus of AI is to actually help us to run our businesses or to do our jobs. And uh, whether you like it or not, AI is coming and uh, AI will replace most of the tasks that we do right now. However, it's a good thing because uh, that will allow us all focus on stuff that we really like to do, such as talking to our clients or, you know, or do, do things that uh, you really enjoy to do uh, on a daily basis and offload all this nasty and, uh, you know, um, weird things such as, uh, you know, data collection, for example, uh, on automated AI systems. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to switch to my screen and I'm going to show you how you can start using AI right now uh, to help you do your job. Now, there are two parts of it. The first uh, presentation I'm going to show you 
is how you can plug, um, how you can configure your CRM system um, and how you can start managing your CRM system and data collection via simple SMS messages. So essentially you're gonna be sending SMS to your CRM or to your co-pilot as we call it, and the co-pilot will execute your tasks. Like imagine if you're out about and uh, you met a client and uh, you wanna add this client to your CRM system and you might wanna create a task for one of your team members to get in touch with the client and find out how, they can, how you can help them. Or maybe you just wanna initiate data collection process. So you might wanna say, hey, you know, start data collection from Tim Smith and uh, your co-pilot will execute this comment and will help you to accomplish your task. So without further ado, let me share my screen and let's jump into the presentation. I hope you guys can see my screen. Just give me a second. Let me just jump into chat. Oh, I can see quite a few comments there. That's excellent. Unfortunately, my uh, software StreamYard is not showing me who is online. Usually it does, but for some reason it's, it's, uh, it's not working really well, but that's fine. All right, so um, this is my Maestro dashboard. And the uh, first thing I wanna do, I wanna connect my phone number. And the reason I wanna con connect my phone number to Maestro is because I wanna send messages via SMS. As a business owner, as a broker, you all, you know, quite often you just, uh, you know, you're just out about, so you're not in the office and you want to be able to manage your system remotely. Uh, to do so, I'm going to click on Maestro AI icon here and I'm going to register my phone number. So I'm going to put my phone number in. That's my phone number, by the way. All right the phone number in and I'm gonna press next. And now I'm going to receive SMS to verify that I am who I am. 607299, here we go. And I'm going to validate and now my, my phone number is validated and connected to Maestro AI system. And what that means is I can start sending SMS from my phone number to Maestro Copilot and Copilot will know that uh, I am who I am and it will execute comments on, on my account. So it actually uh, tells me here that you can start using Maestro Copilot right now, simply SMS a task to 0483 uh, 364, such as add new lead or uh, collect mortgage fact find. So we're gonna do just that. I'm going to send SMS, but before that, I'm going to share my screen so you can see my SMS window. Just bear with me. Okay, view, let me just have a look here. Hold on guys, one second. How do I do that? I need to show it. Here we go. So I have just received a welcome uh, SMS from Maestro Copilot, as you can see from this number. And now I can start sending commands to Maestro Copilot. So for example, if I wanna add a lead, I can just say add new deal and I can give it a name. Bob Smith, Bob, and uh, create a task for Sue. Sue happens to be one of our team members. So create a new task for Sue to check with Bob if he has found a property and make it due tomorrow. 4 p.m. You can literally instruct Maestro to do pretty much anything that uh, your CRM, or in this case, Maestro CRM supports. So now we've sent the request to Maestro and uh, we're gonna wait for confirmation. When the request is executed, 
uh, Copilot will confirm that yes, I've done that, and um, um, and it's all good. So now we've received confirmation. By the way, guys, this is done via SMS, so you don't have to download any apps. You don't have to download. You don't have to go to any website. You don't have to log into Maestro. You just send SMS message, and Maestro um, uh, does it for you. So now it says, I've added a new deal for Bob Smith and created a task for Sue to check if Bob, uh, if he wants to, if he found the property due tomorrow. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, so let's go back to Maestro and uh, let's close this and uh, have a look. Here we go. So now we have a new deal for Bob Smith. This is Maestro dashboard. So this is where I see all deals and uh, uh, you know, what's happening in Maestro and what's going on. So um, now I can see a new deal, Bob Smith. And when I click into it, I can see the new task created for uh, Sue. So task for Sue Parker. Sue is our team member. And uh, the task is check with Bob if he has found a property. Now, Sue will receive a notification and uh, she will click on the link. She'll be taken exactly uh, to this application. Uh, in Maestro and uh, she will see the task and she will call, you know, Bob and uh, to find out if he, if he has found the property. And uh, obviously she can reply to uh, this task saying, yes, he has found the property. Not pretty, property. And uh, she can add comments. So uh, the process has begun. Now, as a business owner, I might want to ask Copilot to send mortgage application to Bob. So, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say send mortgage application to Bob. I might, I might provide his email and phone number. So uh, Maestro knows where to send a um, uh, request. Now, if I don't do that, uh, Copilot will ask me to provide their phone number and uh, email address. So I'm going to say his email, bob at maestro.com.au and phone number 0400000000. And also add a comment that I have requested mortgage fact find from Bob. How about that? Enter. So now I've sent another SMS to Copilot and uh, Copilot will execute command and uh, Bob will receive email and SMS inviting him to go through the process and uh, uh, provide his information. Now, this is a confirmation. The mortgage application has been sent to Bob. And I've added a comment noting that uh, you've requested uh, the mortgage fact find form from him. If I go back to my Maestro dashboard, we'll see that uh, Bob Smith data collection process has started. That means Bob have received, has received email and um, uh, SMS with the link to the application and Bob will go through the process. So as you can see, it's very easy to start managing your interaction with your clients and the interaction with your CRM and backend system via SMS messages. And not just you can request uh, fact finds or create deals, you can actually ask for information. So for example, I can say something like, you know, what are the outstanding tasks on Bob's deal? Uh, so something like that. Uh, let me just give you an example. What are, uh, like, what, something like give me a list of all outstanding tasks on Bob's deal. So it will return you a list of outstanding tasks of on Bob's deal. Now we are expanding this functionality, um, obviously, you know, to give you more data. So you, soon you'll be able to say something like, uh, give me all tasks or give me all outstanding tasks, or you can even ask for more specific data, like, uh, you know, to drill down into specific um, 
uh, search uh, search terms, such as you know, give me all tasks that are. Um, uh, that will expire tomorrow, for example, or give me all tasks that have been created in the last few days and stuff like that, or show me all applications that are assigned to uh, a team member. Actually, you can do it now. You can say, hey, give me all applications that are assigned to Sue Parker, and it will give you a list of applications that are still assigned to Sue Parker, or maybe give me all applications that are in a specific folder or in a specific stage. So Copilot replied, currently there is one outstanding task on Bob's deal and it gives you task details. So at any point of time, we can query, uh, you know, we can query that, we can find out where the deal is at and who's, who's working on what. And uh, that creates this kind of, um, in a new way and easy way of interacting between yourself and uh, your systems. So if we go back to the application, obviously we see the application is at 0%. As I said before, Bob will receive email and SMS with fully branded link. And when, they, and when Bob clicks on the link, he will be taken straight into the application. So obviously he will have to verify um, his details uh, via the SMS and uh, then we'll take him step by step through the application process. So we'll start fact finds and uh, then we'll collect documents. The document checklist is generated automatically uh, via by um, uh, using the data that uh, Bob has provided in fact find. So Bob says he's self-employed, for example, then we're gonna say, okay, no worries, give us your self-employed documentation. Or if Bob says uh, he's, uh, you know, he's got five investment properties, then we're going to say, no worries, uh, Bob, give us, um, you know, verification for your investment properties and maybe council rates for your investment properties. So essentially, uh, the process will complete itself automatically. We'll send reminders to Bob. We'll make sure the data is collected and delivered straight into your Maestro dashboard. In fact, what I'll do now, I'll give you a quick preview of what application actually looks like or what client experience looks like before we move on to the next AI topic, which is I'm very excited about. Just give me a second, guys. All right. Let me just uh, do this for a second. Okay, one second. I'm just going to bring up uh, the client application experience. So I'll show you what it looks like and what it feels like for the client. So you get a bit more idea. Now, the this is client experience. Now, I was doing another live demo the other day for Nectar. And, um, you know, I've branded this particular account as Nectar, so excuse, excuse me for that. Now, this um, screen that you see right now is fully configurable and fully customizable. So it can be configured for your clients uh, and for your uh, brand, uh, which, which means your it's going to be your logo here, your, uh, you know, your titles, your text. You can even embed videos or images. Imagine how cool will it be when your clients click on the link and the link, by the way, will say apply.yourcompany.com. So as far as client concerned, they don't know Maestro exists. All they know, they're dealing directly with you and they're communicating with you and that creates a lot of trust. As you probably know, when people get SMSs or links and uh, they see unknown URLs or some weird URLs, they're a bit more, you know, careful. And uh, sometimes they don't want to click on a link because they don't know who, if they can trust this link. Who knows what's going to happen after they click on the link. So that's why it's very important to provide fully white labeled customer experience to your clients. So when they see a link, they know exactly that it's coming from you and they can trust you and they can, you know, go through the process. And when they click on it, we'll guide them through the process. So we'll ask them questions uh, such as, uh, what are your loan objectives? Are you first home buyer and so forth? During this process, we're gonna ask them to sign any documents that you need them to sign. 
Um, Maestro does come with a very powerful and very versatile e-signature tool, which can be embedded straight into the application process. So you don't have to send separately forms to sign or uh, anything like that. It's all, it all happens automatically. Um, forms are pre-populated with client information and signed from all parties. So if there are two applicants on the application, the first applicant will sign it in line during this process. And the second applicant will um, receive email and SMS so they can sign it and, you know, and submit it to, to you. Now imagine client receives a notification on his phone while going through the process. As you know, attention span is really low. So um, uh, we, in that case, we'll send reminder. We can configure reminders to go out every day or at any point of time. So for example, we can say, hey, client stopped. Um, we can wait five minutes and in five minutes, we can send them nice gentle SMS and say, hey, you know what? By the way, this is a link to your application. Just click on this link and we'll take them exactly where they left off. So if they stopped at this point, like what's your driver's license? Then we're gonna ask them for their driver's license. So it's really, really intuitive process um, and it makes it extremely easy for your clients to provide their information. By the way, this is example of e-signature tool embedded right into the form. So if I click on this button, um, it is asking client to review um, privacy statement and sign it. So I can just sign here. I can put my beautiful signature. and continue with the process. It's extremely easy, extremely intuitive for the client and uh, they will thank you for that. Now, if I go back to my dashboard and refresh my inbox folder, this is the application that we are going through, Dimitri and the uh, form 51% complete and signatures 100% complete. When we get to the document collection stage, um, the system will automatically request documents from a client and uh, the client will be able to um, upload the documents. And obviously they will get reminders and will guide them through document collection process, exactly the same way as we guide them through fact find collection or form collection process. So as you can see, we already start generating document checklist. It's not collecting yet because we're waiting on more data to come in. But look, if you don't wanna wait till the end of the fact find, or if you don't wanna wait for customer to complete fact find, you can, at any point of time, you can just click request documents and client will receive request and they will start uploading documents as well. So this is a quick overview of uh, Maestro dashboard. Um, this is the application that I've prepared earlier. As you can see, there are a bunch of documents already uploaded. So if I click on business tax return for year one, it will show me business tax for year one. This was for the demo, so obviously it's a test document, but you get, you get the idea uh, what it looks like and what it feels like. Now, um, as, a, as a business owner, I can always uh, check the progress uh, of, of any applications in my pipeline just by sending this SMS to Maestro and say, hey, what's the progress? Or maybe something like, um, let me just bring up my, or something like, you know, please add uh, Brandon to this, to this application, something like that. So Maestro will add another team member to application in case Sue calls me in the morning and say, hey, you know, I'm gonna take a day off or I'm not feeling well. And uh, Brandon has been added to application. So now Brandon, a team member, have re has received an uh, email and, uh, from Maestro saying that, hey, you know what, now we've got um, application assigned to you. Go ahead and uh, uh, you know, do whatever I tell you. And, and I can create a task for Brandon. So I can say, create, create new task for Brandon to call Oops, call the client and uh, verify the employment or whatever the task is. You just instruct it and uh, Maestro will do it for you. 
So guys, this is Copilot, and uh, we are very much excited about this tool and uh, very much looking forward to releasing new functionality. We are working on it every single day and uh, you know, enhancing it with new uh, functionality and new abilities. However, um, it's not obviously, it's not 100% perfect. Um, some of the tasks um, it still cannot do, but we are enhancing this uh, functionality. And very, very shortly, we're going to make a huge announcement and uh, another live stream where I'm going to show you how you can use Copilot not to not only uh, to manage Maestro existing functionality, but Copilot will be able to create new functionality that is not even available in Maestro. So you will be able to give it a series of tasks that are probably not supported out of the box and the Copilot will figure out how to do these tasks for you and it will start executing on these tasks. Now this will take it to the next level because uh, essentially, even now it does, it, it, it acts as your personal assistant but later on, it will act as your personal assistant plus, <laughs> you know, if you like, on personal assistant on drugs, if you like, on steroids. So we are very much excited about this functionality and it's coming up very shortly. Um, I will make uh, announcements on LinkedIn and uh, other social networks. Now, before we move on to the next task, I've got a couple of questions here that I want to answer. Can you show us email Bob would have received Okay, now um, the email Bob have received is fully white labeled. So the email will come directly from you, not from Maestro, not from somewhere else. And the email template or the email wording is fully configurable. So you can, you can just take, like for example, if when you send email right now to your clients, you can just send us a copy of that email and we'll load it into the system and uh, Bob will receive email exactly what you want to what you want to say this email. Uh, also, you can attach any attachments to this email. You can CC to any uh, you know other people as well. Uh, but uh, it's fully configurable and fully white label. In Maestro, if I go to configuration settings, I can actually click communications, and I can connect my email account. So in this case, uh, so we've got a few options. We've got Gmail, Outlook, and SMTP, if you want to manually configure it. But whatever you use, Outlook or Gmail, you just click on any of this and connect your native email provider. And uh, Maestro will use that to communicate with your clients. Same we can do with SMS. Um, so Bob will also receive SMS. Um, and the SMS will come from your business SMS account or business phone number that you can provision in Maestro. So this is one of another feature that I wanna talk about uh, right now. And I wanna show you how you can uh, communicate with your clients, answer all their questions, uh, provide outstanding customer service, and also fill out the forms in the background simply by chatting to them on SMS. And uh, the good thing is you don't have to chat. The A AI assistant will chat on your behalf and it will do all of what I've just said automatically without you doing anything. So uh, before we move on, let me just answer a couple of more questions. Does Maestro collect career report and bank statements automatically? Uh, so that uh, question comes from Claire. Uh, Claire, yes, uh, Maestro does collect bank statements and uh, credit reports. Um, if I click on this application, here's an example how it collects banks, bank statements, or oh, sorry, credit report. So this is a sample credit report. This is not a live credit report, so don't, don't worry, I'm not disclosing anyone's personal information. Um, but you, you can collect uh, bank statements and credit reports with Equifax. Now, with bank statements, you can connect uh, um, Ilion and you can also connect uh, uh, Cashdeck. So we support both of them. 
And uh, you know, during the data collection process, when we get to the documents, uh, the system will request a document checklist from clients, and it will also request bank statements or give them option to upload bank statements using Elion or Cash Deck links. It's only embedded in Maestro, so when bank statements are uploaded, it goes straight to Maestro dashboard. So uh, it's very, very easy to manage, and it's all in one place. Now, with Elion, when bank statements come in, you can click on it, and it will show you a summary of... Uh, the accounts like you know how with uh, bank statements you get this html file so that's exactly what it's going to show that html file with all of their banking is information and history and of course you can download you know whatever other files um, you know contained in that uh, bank statement link so it's really really easy system to use same with query report now query reports can be collected automatically. You can even use Copilot to, to collect query reports. So let me show you something. Now the Copilot, what I've shown you before, is um, we control it via SMS, but you can also control it via Maestro dashboard. So here I've got a link to Copilot. If I click on it, it opens up a chat interface similar to what you see when you use chat GPT. It's exactly the same interface. Well, not exactly the same, but very similar. And here you can also send instructions. So for example, here I can do run credit check on Bob. What, what it will do in background, it will create a task of a type of credit report or credit check. Now we do have ability, sorry, everything in Maestro, any process in Maestro is a task. So whether you want to run credit check, whether you want to run bank statements, or if you want to create your custom tasks type, it's all possible. For example, with mortgages, we can create tasks to, to do soccer. It's possible. And uh, a lot of people uh, already use this functionality uh, you know, to create custom type of tasks. Um, and uh, some of these tasks will require to fill out the form. Some of these tasks will require you know, to send something to the client or collect extra information from a client. It's all possible and it can be managed remotely. So now I say run credit check for Bob and uh, Maestro created a task for me to run a credit check. So if I click get a uh, credit report, it will give me, uh, it will open up the screen where um, I can see all the information. Now we don't have a driver's license because they, you know, it's still um, unknown on this application. Uh, once they enter, once client enters this information, it will be pre-populated automatically, but nothing stopping me from just adding these values manually. For example, I might give him a call and say, hey, what's your driver's license? And uh, once it's all done, you just run credit check and it will pull in their credit, um, credit information from Equifax, download it to my stream, have access to it. And you can do it at any point of time on any person. Um, I hope that answers your question. All right, let me see. No worries. Um, I guess we can continue. Now, as I mentioned before, there are two types of AI systems in Maestro. The first type, this, the first system is a co-pilot that I've just shown you. Um, so you can control Maestro remotely. You can actually send uh, text messages to it. Um, the second type is um, a customer service AI assistant. So um, you can get AI to actually talk to your customers, to generate leads for you, um, you know, to answer all of their questions and collect their information. For example, uh, the workflow could be you run an ad on Facebook and the uh, ad says, hey, SMS to this number and uh, say hello. Whatever the call to action is, it can be programmed into Maestro and AI assistant will understand it. So when someone sends hi, uh, SMS AI assistant will talk to your customer, will answer all of their questions, will collect their preliminary information such as their name, address, maybe not address, maybe postcode, and uh, it will also get them to sign privacy consent, so you can run credit check, 
whatever you want them to whatever you want to collect to pre-qualify a client it will happen and it happens automatically so that way you can provide amazing easy experience for your clients to deal with you they don't have to click on anything they don't have to click on any links they don't have to fill out any forms all they do is chat via sms to your ai assistant and in order to launch that ai assistant you can provision your phone number with maestro so uh, let me just uh, stop sharing this for now um, with maestro we can provision your business phone number uh, and that phone number will be used will be allocated specifically for you for your business and you'll be able to use it to communicate with your clients so if someone if your client sms's this number First of all, it will generate a lead for you. So if client does not is not in your Maestro database, in, is not in your Maestro pipeline or CRM, call it whatever you like, it will create a lead for you. In fact, this is how we generated a lot, a lot of leads um, during Better Business Summit. Uh, we were sponsoring it and uh, we were traveling with Better Business and Advisor magazine in all capital cities. I was presenting on stage and um, the, it, you know, a lot of questions being asked about Copilot, how it works, how Maestro works. And uh, my response to all of the questions was, um, I'll tell you what it is. Just give me a second. I had exactly this, this, me oops, this message on the screen. And I say, text hi and discover how Maestro AI Assistant can accelerate your business growth. Okay. And this is a number that I asked my uh, potential clients or my target audience to text and a lot of people did we generated so many leads that uh, we still have a backlog uh, of a lot of leads to go through but a lot of people text and uh, we reply so copilot will talk to the customer um, based on training data and uh, we will train Copilot for your business. So we'll, we'll feed with your business data. But that's not the main goal of, that si of the system. The main goal of the system is to fill out forms or any kind of workflows and processes in the background and uh, convert a customer or convert a prospect into a potential customer. So in my case, I was asking people to book an appointment with us and provide their first name. That's it, it was very simple. But it can be more complex. We can collect more complex information. We can actually, potentially we can, we can fill out the entire fact find by having a conversation, natural language conversation via uh, SMS. Guys, feel free to SMS to this number. You can test it yourself. Um, and uh, we can provision a number for you so you can start um, generating leads and collect client information that way. Uh, so what I want to do now, I want to give you a quick demo to show you how this number actually works. So let me bring up another window, which I've got here. So this is empty window. This is my SMS. By the way, this is a mirror of my phone. I'm on my Mac and Mac allows you to kind of uh, do SMSs uh, using the computer. And uh, I'm going to send SMS to this number. So the number is 0476. Uh, 0476-856-771. And uh, I'm just going to say, what is Maestro? You can ask any question about Maestro, and it will answer. Um, a lot of people don't know about Maestro. They, they, they hear it for the first time. So it's a good um, way of talking to these people like that, and a good way you know, to provide them with useful information. And, uh, you know, because it's SMS, it takes a bit of time, you know, to, uh, to get uh, information in and out. But uh, that's basically how it works. I think something has happened with my SMS because it's just opinion. But anyway, so this is SMS that I received from Maestro. Maestro helps brokers with AI tech, making tasks like creating client onboarding and data collection easier. It's all about boosting your business with smart tools. How cool is that? And, uh, you know, by the way, I've loaded information uh, about this very, uh, very, uh, this AI stream. So I can say, maybe I can say, how can I um, collect 
data with Maestro, like any question. Uh, and uh, Maestro Copilot or Maestro AI Assistant, in this case, is going to be your AI Assistant will answer these questions. And while having this conversation, what Maestro does in background, it fills out the form. So if it asks a question or if client says, hey, by the way, I'm a self-employed or, you know, um, I've, uh, you know, I've got five kids and uh, I need a mortgage. Maestro in the back end recording all of this information into the forms that you configure and uh, you have this information. So you know more and more about the client without client realizing that they're actually filling out the form. Um, but all they see is this amazing experience. So here we go. With Maestro, you can automate client onboarding and use AI for, to, for data collection and manage document uh, easy. It's all about making your work smoother. Okay, how can I join? That comes call to action. Now Maestro will, um, will realize, okay, this guy is, does want to have more information or maybe he wants to book a meeting and uh, it will offer this, this particular person to click on this link and book a meeting with us. So this is the end goal for us. This is our call to action and this is what we want to achieve. In your case, it could be different. In your case, it could be maybe you want client to fill out a form and uh, you know, and uh, maybe sign a document and everything can be done via Copilot um, Assistant. Um, and the way to provision this and launch it is really, really simple. We will set up a number for your business. We'll ask you to verify your business uh, by providing us with your ASIC extract about your business. All we need is your ABN and the proof of address. This is regulatory requirement. This is not our requirement. Um, and once we have all of this information, uh, we'll set up a number for you and uh, we'll configure Copilot Assistant. We we'll call it AI Assistant and uh, uh, configure it for your requirements and for your use case and you can start using straight away. So uh, that's our brand new AI assistant that we are using right now. A lot of brokers start using and we use it for us. So we drink our own Kool-Aid. And that's, uh, that's really, really remarkable. How does Maestro transfer all data to aggregate a platform and apply online? Now we are not connected to apply online directly. However, we are in discussions with Apply Online, so possibly we can connect. Uh, right now, you will have to transfer uh, data to your aggregator. We do have links with some aggregators, such as Connective, and uh, we're launching a loan market group. We do have link with Sales Tracker, and uh, we also push data via webhooks. So you can push data to and whatever system, uh, whatever system does, you know, supports it. But unfortunately, you have to transfer data from Maestro to aggregation uh, system for now. And uh, from there, you can push to apply online. Now, with data transfer, we're going to be launching a new service that will help you to transfer data faster and more efficiently. So um, in addition to API connection, we're going to launch, we are launching a service that will help that essentially like a support service. So you can press a button and one of our team members will actually log in and verify that data has been transferred correctly. And uh, if something is not transferred or something is not supported by the API, we'll manually fix it. So that will ensure the data will come across um, uh, in, all its, in all of its, its glory. So hopefully that's, uh, that answers your question, uh, Claire. Uh, thank you very much for these questions. Um, guys, do you have any other questions? I think we are going for 44 minutes now and uh, I'm about to get really, really excited about this and go for another 44 minutes. So please stop me and... Uh, um, all right, so we don't have any more questions. Excellent. No worries. I think this is it. And I think it's time to wrap up. Now, um, I'll be running these live streams every week, or I'll try to do it every week. 
We've been doing this before Christmas and uh, I'm restarting to do the ser a series of uh, live streams um, as well as podcast um, sessions. So um, I'd be more than happy if you join us on the next podcast. If, you're not fo if you don't follow me on LinkedIn, please do. Um, I I'd really appreciate that. Uh, and uh, also when you follow me or if you connect with me, don't forget to click the bell. Uh, it's on the top right corner of LinkedIn. And uh, will ensure that you get notifications when I upload new content or when I run a new live stream. Look, we are working really, really hard on AI and expanding Maestro functionality um, in terms of data collection and automation. So a lot of new interesting things coming up very shortly. And uh, I think you guys will be very interested to see what we're going to release, what we're going to do with AI, where we're going to take it and um, uh, how it's going to affect not just Maestro or yourself, but the entire industry. So thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.